right, guys, today the dong fang again. Um, I installed my 150 carburetor. So this is how I had to do it. So luckily I had a big enough air pod from my uh, other carburetor. It can still fit barely. So still have the red theme going on. Um, how I wired it up was the vacuum line coming out because it's only one vacuum line. Um, and I have a little T, it came with a T. So that's from the head, this line from the head and then from the CVT and it goes there. All right, so I wanted to show that before I ride. I'm gonna do some more tests and see how it goes. All right. Okay, well, today I put in my 150 carb and today I made it to 100 miles. So officially 100 miles. And um, yeah, um, I will say, people who say that the 150 carb on the big board kit doesn't help, <laughs> were they wrong? <laughs> Cause man, this thing goes. Now my top speed, it's still around 47. I actually got the 48, but I um, couldn't duplicate it. Uh, again, to, I've been riding a lot today without the camera. So I decided to put the camera on and do a test. So. Get high with the same rope. It goes a lot faster. So, definitely a big plus, and it picks up speed quicker. And I probably can tune it to go to 50. Because right now I'm getting at, uh, to 45 at around 8,000 RPM. So, really lower than what um, I was getting before with the 20 millimeter carburetor. Because um, I was doing a lot of research online, it was saying, oh, the, uh, the 150 carb is not gonna help, and man, that thing helps. <laughs> it picks up a lot faster than it did before. And um, I, got, I got more speed or more RPM without changing the roller. So pretty much the first thing I did was just change my carburetor. And um, I took it for a test ride, uh, just to tune it out, not too rich or lean or whatever. And that thing was making my RPMs higher, like close to nine. And I'm like, okay, let me put heavier rollers in. So right now I have seven and eight gram rollers to make it seven and a half. And um, that's how I got my results with getting like 46 um, on the straight run. 46 on the straight run at 8,000 RPMs. And it slowly went up to like, I'm sorry, 45 with 8,000 RPMs. And then it got to 46 at 82. And then pretty much um, from there, I didn't have enough, have more room. So, but it definitely, I have more throttle response and I have more range of throttle, meaning like it doesn't get to, um, I don't know, I can just, it's, it's more range, like quarter, half, three quarters, I can feel it a little more. I guess, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but I definitely got more uh, power.
that's probably the longest I've held. 45. I gotta adjust these mirrors and make sure they're tighter. But I definitely got it to 46 today. Just didn't um, get it on camera. Yeah, definitely gotta adjust these mirrors tighter so they don't move. All right. So I'm very happy with it for now. Um, like I said, just gotta break it in. But it's very, very, um, it's a very good bike, pretty much, for what it is. Like I said, it's definitely a scooter, and um, you got to treat it as a scooter, you know? Don't try to go super duper fast. I just wanted to make sure I can go 45, but I didn't want to I didn't want to go wide open throttled and stay at 45, so that's why I'm tuning it to get to 50, and then um, I can kind of cruise. Cruise at 45. But, um, it picks up very fast. It picks up the 40 so much faster. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> I'm just so excited for it. Um, if you guys have been following the progress, it's just been, you know, tuning, tuning. And I thought the last video, well, the last time I, I, I made a video, it pretty much, um, I'm like, alright, this is what it's going to be for a while till it um, breaks in and gets a little faster. But man, that was a big improvement. But that's pretty much it. Just want to show you guys the difference with the carburetor. RPMs. Alright, that's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Alright.